Welcome to Firebase release notes for November. We have a packed episode today featuring Google's most intelligent AI model so far, some highly requested backend features, and new ways to debug your apps with AI. Let's get started. First up, we are bringing the power of Gemini 3 directly to your mobile and web apps via Firebase AI logic. That's right. Gemini 3, Google's most intelligent model that helps you bring any idea to life, is now available for mobile and web developers to use through Firebase AI Logic client SDKs. Firebase AI Logic supports the vast majority of Gemini 3's capabilities, including improved thinking, function calling, thought signatures, and the new default resolution for input media, which gives you more control over multimodal vision processing. Check out this blog post to learn more about thought signatures, thinking levels, and how to get started with Gemini 3 in Firebase AI Logic today. In addition to Gemini 3 Pro, you can now also access Gemini 3 Pro image via Firebase AI Logic. Designed for professional asset production and complex instructions, Gemini 3 Pro Image, better known as Nano Banana Pro, features real-world grounding using Google Search, a default thinking process that refines composition prior to generation, and can generate images of up to 4K resolution. We also added some useful features to make operating and running AI-powered applications more secure. For all of you who are shipping AI prompts inside your apps, you'll be glad to hear we launched support for server prompt templates. Instead of hard-coding prompts in your app, you can now move them to the backend and call them from your client using the template ID you define. In the AI Logic section on the Firebase console, you will find a new tab that lets you create, edit, and manage your server prompt templates. Even better, if you store your template ID as a parameter in Firebase Remote Config, you can fetch the active template at runtime. This allows you to A-B test different prompts or roll out new model behaviors instantly without needing to release a new version of your app. To learn more about server prompt templates, check out the documentation. One quick housekeeping note for iOS developers. We have renamed the Swift module from Firebase AI to Firebase AI Logic. It's non-breaking for now, but please update your imports to keep your code base future-proof. Next, let's talk about Data Connect. You asked, and we listened. We are rolling out two major features that came directly from your feedback on our user voice forum. First, event triggers. You can now configure Data Connect to automatically trigger server-side code, like Cloud Functions, whenever a mutation is executed. This is perfect for things like sending a welcome email immediately after a user creates a profile. To dive deeper into how this feature works and how you can use it in your apps, read Andrea's blog post. Second, generated admin SDKs. You can now auto-generate TypeSafe Node.js admin SDKs directly from your GraphQL definitions. This makes writing backend logic much safer and faster. You can find a detailed guide for this feature in the Data Connect documentation. Also in the database world, the database clone feature for Cloud Firestore is now generally available. This lets you easily clone an existing database into a new one, which is really useful for setting up staging environments. Moving on to app quality. We are supercharging how you debug by providing Crashlytics MCP tools. If you use AI-powered coding tools like the Gemini CLI, Cursor, or Cloud Code, you can now use Crashlytics model context protocol tools and prompts. This allows you to use natural language prompts to manage, prioritize, debug, and even fix 
crash lytics issues directly within your AI coding environment. We also enabled exporting Firebase sessions data to BigQuery alongside your crash lytics data. This new feature enables more advanced session-based analysis and queries and lets you better understand the overall reliability of your apps. Finally, some updates for TestLab. We have added support for the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone SE 3. In fact, the iPhone 16 Pro running iOS 18.3 is now the default iOS device for testing. Please note that we are removing some of the devices that we had deprecated earlier this year, including the iPhone 8, iPhone 13 Pro, as well as iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. Check the release notes to update your test matrices. This was the final episode of Firebase release notes for 2025 and we'll be back in 2026 with everything that's new in Firebase. My name is Peter and I will see you in a future episode of Firebase release notes. Wait, 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 wait. There is one more thing. So, Noe is working on a new episode of Firebase Release Notes Deep Dives, and I've been told it's going to be a really good one. So, subscribe to the channel below and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out. <clears throat> All right, let's do it one more time. My name is Peter, and I will see you in a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.